Hello there and welcome back to a final episode of season 4, our columns run through or playthrough. So what we are going to do in this episode is complete our, I guess it's third mountain. Yeah, that was the first expansion, second one which is almost complete as well. And now the third one in here. In this episode we will definitely move all the beavers into this new living zone. So we will construct some additional housing in here. With a time lapse of course since everyone seems to love them a lot including myself of course and then uh, yeah we'll complete the link between those two mountains as well and whilst we are watching the time lapse our beavers in this mine district they are also trying to complete the mountain connection over here there's quite a bit to go they might not be able to finish everything by the time time lapse is done but we'll definitely get it done in this episode and try and send some water through here as well so for that we do have two terraforming stations and also some builders to help uh, you know with the scaffolding over here everything else i think it should be fine we do want to check quickly how our column factory here is going as well so we got five assemblers now operational and all the factories themselves seem to be fine as well and we do have i think plenty of parts okay so why don't we get straight into the time lapse? I think we have everything that we need. Yep, these are fine. 24 in here, so I will unpause them in a second. I already have a blueprint in place as well. I think that's it. Let's uh, let's get it started then. And there we go, so the time lapse is now pretty much complete. If we pause the game for a second, let's take a look what have we missed over here. Well, first of all, let's bring back the UI. So this section is pretty much done. We can unpause the rooftop terrace as well. It seems you were a little out of range actually. So what can we do here? We can't race this one. However, what we can do is fill up that section over there and now hopefully we should have the range that we do require right now i see why you weren't constructed all of these ones were paused okay we'll give this a quick try somebody is complaining over here right you are not connected apparently so if we go down oh i see okay fair enough i think we can do it is, okay, we, we definitely had a platform there. And now you are all happy again. Right, right, right. And what is happening here? I guess it's this house here. Oh yeah, I remember. I didn't want to put the 
stairs before everything else is done and actually yeah we don't want to construct them just yet because we might be able to put some trees here hopefully okay now decorations what we do want to do is a beaver overlooking this valley over here okay and another shrub just like so now we don't have to get up to the roof anymore and that can be fixed up as well what we shall do is stick one of you over there these roofs can also be completed and i think that's pretty much it yeah the land piece that we have here i was hoping to put some trees and the way we are going to achieve this oh actually these platforms can go as well as soon as you are done so why don't we give you a slight priority all right so the way we are gonna green this up a little bit is with the water dumps so I have paused some of the terrain blocks. I will quickly go around and unpause them once again. All right, so now we should start building up the uh, dirt blocks as well. And we do have dynamite on both of the sides. So that's where we are going to place the water dumps. And I think we have to go down a few levels. So what we can do is build the uh, stream gauge at the bottom and then use one of those platforms to cover it up. But we shall see how that goes. So for the time being, let's just detonate. We'll go down a couple of levels. What we could actually do as well to let the... Oh yeah, this might be a little bit smarter, I think. If we were to use levees here instead, we shall do something like this. And actually, we shall pause these sections as well. Yeah, let's see how it goes. Because if it needs to be three levels down, then the platform... Or maybe we don't even need the platform. Let, let's see how it goes. Maybe we don't need to cover it up. Okay, so that's uh, this section done now. Somebody is still complaining. Oh yeah, it's this one. So the decorations are completed. We can get rid of these platforms now. Okay, we'll take them out. And I think everything else... Oh, we still have... Oh, I see. Okay. So this means we are going to have to take out the house and have this done as well. I shall put everything back as it was before, but we are going to pause them for the time being. Okay, I believe the house was somewhere here. Pause you as well. And then we are going to need a roof to cover it up as well. Okay, so yeah, this is looking pretty good already. I initially did place the stairs over here because I was afraid we might lose the access a little bit but it seems we are fine oh except over here now what's the easiest way to do this oh, i guess we are gonna have to climb down in here aren't we okay we can pause you take this one out pause this one right okay so carry on beavers now with this house over here I guess we'll do the normal roof bit here. I don't know, this one looks a little bit different. Maybe it sticks out too much, but I did want to try out how do the roofs look if we were to use those levy looking decoration pieces. And I mean, we could change it, but it's fine. It's just a little bit different here. Okay, so let's give this a try. If we were to place you here, pause you for a second. I don't suppose you will allow us to construct it no <laughs> now our options are to go down one more level why don't we try that actually um maybe it will be better this way and same on this side as well what we can do later if that doesn't work out i have another thought in mind where we use a couple of levees as well okay i think we can call this section completed now we shall construct the last of the tiny little pieces in here oh this shrub can be also completed now there we go fantastic and i'd love to visit the wall how is this going here oh wow they actually have done quite a lot yeah how many beavers do we have here oh eight of you doing okay a building so i think with the next time lapse this might be actually completed yeah all right, well, can they cross over to construct all of this in here? Probably not, but are we able to place like a platform here? Oh, we are. Okay, there we go. I mean, they can also go this way, but perhaps this is a bit more direct. 
Okay. Uh, wait a second. They will not be able to... Hmm. I see what's going on. So you are not going to be very useful. Let's uh, change this up. So platform over here instead. Okay, here we go. We've got the water gauge at the bottom. Water dump on top of you. Let's pause you for the time being so you don't... Yeah, flood this whole area. Even if we were going to place levees in here, it will not green up the area surrounding this hill. So I don't think there's any point in, yeah, placing the levees down. I mean, so I think we are safe, yeah, just uh, raising the ground itself. There we go. And save on this side. So we shall grab one of those water gauges. There we go, and the water dump will pause for the time being. It, it's fine. Right. Dirt blocks go back just like so, and you are still paused, right? Yep, just have to double check. And is everyone placing down the dirt as well? Yes, they are. Okay, one final thing before we plan out our next zone. Now, the reason why I do have dynamites in this whole area is because I do want to kind of stress the height of this cliff in here and how high the houses are as well. So yeah, let's uh, lower the ground that's all below the housing. Okay, and that section, and same with you. Oh, we still have a tiny little island here. Now, are you able to construct it? Yes, you are. Okay, I think we still have tiny little pieces here. There we go. So that's uh, that's already a lot better. I mean, this would be preferable height, in my opinion. So what we can try and do is place a few more dynamites in here. Okay, just like so. There, and a couple more. And now the rest should be done as well. We didn't accidentally place any here, did we? No, it seems it's all good. Alright, so we shall lower this just a little bit. What I'll do whilst the beavers are constructing that up and looks like, yes, there is an army going across already. I'll plan out like a little island over here and how we want to connect the different districts up as well. And then we shall be back with another quick time lapse. and here we go so it is almost complete not quite but we're nearly there so access was once again of course a bit problematic 
but I can't fully blame the columns here as well because it's partly my design choices that could have been a little bit better but not to worry we can fix them all up pretty quickly as well there we go highest priority for you guys I don't think we have to climb up from here anymore so this one can also be removed right and the uh, final piece that we do need here is this one I think it's probably better if we pause this for the time being whilst the other two decoration pieces are done but we uh, shall come back very shortly okay so cool, that one's done. What I have also been doing in the background, between finishing the uh, little cliff village that we have and the connection point, I decided, well, why don't we have a bit of a lake underneath the cliff village? Perhaps it gives a bit more depth and, uh, you know, definitely looks a little bit cooler as well. So we do need to pull that water from somewhere. And I'm thinking all of that overflow that we do have in here could perhaps flow into this zone instead. Now this however means we do have to make some rearrangements here so I'll probably set this up between episodes as well. Um, but whilst we are actually waiting, never mind. What's the height? Let's uh, do it really quick. Okay fine, we shall... <laughs> I guess it's not going to be too difficult, we just need... There's six or four outlets over here, if we place... Let's see, three in this side. Okay. We are going to have to detonate this further just a little bit. Okay, this land block can go here and then... Yeah, I guess we can even just let the water flow through here. Okay, we are going to have to sever the link just for a little bit. Alright, so high priority for you. We do need those metal stairs again. Okay, and now, <laughs> so this section can go, water goes into here, here, okay, I think we are pretty good, so these are the sections we do need to detonate, alright, and you as well, we'll give you a high priority, so hopefully we can get this done right away, alright, and these sections, okay, um, Oh, forgot one. Okay, there we go. Right, so whilst this is being constructed over there and we are waiting for water, let's have a look. How did you... How is this possible? Okay, you're stuck somewhere in there. Now, construct this up, please. As you can see, no matter what I do, they always find a way how to get stuck anywhere and everywhere. Okay, complete this one. We can unpause you. Build this up as well, please. Uh, right, right, right. So I have also moved over the district center, which is now hiding inside this mountain. Currently, we have enough beds for 162 with uh, with this tiny little village. Well, I guess it's not very tiny. It's, it's quite a sizable one. So 162 beds. However, in our district one, we only have 87. So beaver population might go up a little bit. But then again, I'm pretty sure that throughout... Oh yeah, there we go. We do still have some random houses here and there as well that will be taken out. So we might not have those spare beds in our newly built village. Okay. So I will just tidy up this area, I will put in a quick design for the grand entrance here as well from our main district. And once that is done, we'll jump into a time lapse and yeah, then I think we can call it a win. So give me a little bit of time to figure things out, fix some minor issues that we have and we shall be back very shortly. Alright, so we do finally have a bit of a blueprint and we are almost ready for the time lapse. Now I think I'll have to interrupt the time lapse a couple of times because I actually do want to lower this hill just a tiny bit to put some more monuments in place. Now, before we jump in there, let's have a look. Is everything else fine over here? Yes, it seems. And I believe our biofuel numbers should be going up soon as well because we do have a three more stations over here. I mean, we've already gone up to 350 almost. So yeah, things should be, should be almost done really. 
Now these water dumps are now online and we are putting some water in here. Not sure if we will be able to see it. Oh, okay, there we go. Starting to green up a little bit, which is very, very lovely indeed. And I think we'll do a, like a temporary forest of summer around here as well, so that we could plant some more trees around this area. Okay, so I think we're ready for the time lapse, so let's get it started. And here we go, so it appears our last monument is finally complete, it's taken a very long time to get this done, but I'm pretty happy with the results. There's only, uh, oh yeah, a couple more decoration pieces that we do have to construct, but I'm sure that's going to be done very quickly as well, so, well here we go. Now we finally have a slightly more suitable entrance to our new fancy mountaintop district, okay. And it appears, I think we've done at least one of those trees in here as well. So we can now build the stairs. Okay, there we go. So I've added a quick uh, forester in here just to put some trees down around the area as well. And we also have this water dump in here, but I forgot to put the one of the pots in there. But I would like to fill up this area with the with the water and try and green this mountain up a little bit more. Now this area seems to be functional because we do have water in here. Now the next rainy season unfortunately is quite a quite a while away. But what we'll do is let's uh, detonate these pieces and we can test it out by... Uh, let's have a look. So height 3.53. 2.5 okay now we got some water coming uh wait a second we don't want to lose all of it is three enough no okay seems it mm, yeah okay uh how about we don't synchronize you set you back to the max level and now i think we're losing a little less water than before yeah you should have space to escape all the way there and now it will fill up very very nicely as well and because we did dynamite those little pockets in here it allows us to keep this area green and fertile for a little longer okay now next thing we have also opened up this canal over here and although unfortunately we don't have really much time left to see how it functions but we have blocked it in and as soon as water starts or the rainy season starts, we can flood this whole area. But unfortunately, it is the last episode of this series, so we're not really using this for, for anything, or we didn't have a chance to use it for anything. 
Okay, so some of that water seems to have escaped through, but let's drop it another level. Okay, now on to the final and most important thing, connecting up these different uh, different districts. Okay, so how are we going to do it? Uh, <laughs> well, I guess the problem we are going to have if we were to continue playing this is delivering resources back and forth from, from here. I mean, one fix we can do is if we change you all right turn this off and biofuel let's have a look which of those drop off points where we're sending it to okay so that one right so what we can do is change it up we'll send biofuel and you shall i guess you can climb up to here instead okay and we were gonna send scrap metal another thing we do have to send over is Read at planks, but which one was it? Oh, it's the same one. Okay. Well, there we go. Take the treated planks as well. Right over here. Okay, there we go. So now we can unpause you. Pause this one here. And you don't have to... Let's see. We take this one off. Okay. So now we shouldn't really need this area anymore because this is our new distribution center. What this allows us to do is disconnect this whole section from the forestry district. Okay, I know there's uh, quite a few roads that we do have here, but okay, how shall we do it? So I think the bottom level is probably a little bit easier. We can just simply move the gate over by a little bit. Okay, so one is over there. Oh, you can't be a road. Okay, of course. Now with this road over here, I don't think it's very useful for us anymore so why don't we disconnect you uh yeah okay so first of all disconnect you from here we shall put the gates i think you still have access from this way isn't it yep yeah, it's not the shortest of routes but it is a route that works okay you are also disconnected but we need to sever the link from here as well Okay, there we go. And perhaps this one. Lovely. Okay, now we have... Oh yeah, you are now independent. Okay, what this means is we can... No, we cannot. Right, there must be some more other roads where we are connected up. Oh, there we go. Yep. Alright, how about now? Let's do a, another test. Okay. So if we grab the district center, it runs almost all the way inside here. Yep, it seems the district center is a little too far away to connect with everything. But to fix this, what we could do is we can move this district center out from the middle of the tower and actually link it up with uh, this section here. All right, so if we shall remove all of you. Okay, this seems to be like a suitable space in here okay so let's take a look if you all move out for a second so that we we can figure this out okay let's grab those platforms one more time so right this one here that one there and that one okay and now we need a district center if you go i guess just like so over there will be fine as well and decorations we can place you over there we can't do the road just yet until this whole section is complete so we shall give you a slightly higher priority okay there we go now we do have a lot of beavers oh no, we don't okay let's have a look all of you guys moved over here oh we are yep yeah, we're definitely gonna have some problems but how about hmm Let's see, water-wise, actually it's fine. We're exporting water from here, although we don't have a lot of tanks in here. We can change this as well. Let's do another one, just for the time being. Let's put one over here. Okay, there we go. Now we have water as well. Oh yeah, that's a lot of... Oh, 88 only. Okay, so why don't we try this out? We shall send all of you from forestry. And what's the name... Oh, this one's not done. Okay, give me a second. 
I will construct this district center real quick and as soon as it's done we'll be right back. And here we go, so the district center is now relocated. We've got all the beavers in this district. Uh, actually no, these are only forestry, let's check. Yep, no beavers over there, let's do the same in here as well. So move you out, district 1, you are going to go to our newest district. And yep, that's all of you. There's no kids in here. And that should be done now. Alright. Let's have a look. How many houses are we missing? Uh, actually, yeah. We, we did have enough houses. So everyone is slowly but surely moving in. Alright. Find your new bedrooms. Here we go. Just a couple more. We'll speed it up a little bit. And what we'll also do is, no one is going to work in this district. Or maybe just for a little bit. And we should see our well-being skyrocket straight away as well. 55 now. Once we hit 50, 59, that should be it. Okay, 56, there we go. Just three more. I mean, technically, yeah, we, we have a few extra buildings in here that also give us... Uh, uh, well-being points but you know what it, it's fine it is the last episode of this series so um yeah it's been quite a quite a journey i'm glad we're finally back with the with timberborn as well there we go 58 points now and uh i just want to thank everyone that's been with us this whole series or even just for a few videos thank you so much for for watching it's been a pleasure i wish you a happy new year i hope the next one is going to be more adventurous more fun and uh yeah so starting next year well technically this episode comes out already in 2023 so so yeah probably a few days after this one we will jump into next season of our timberborn we'll be on update three and we'll see what kind of new buildings and things we do get with that one as well okay so how far are we off with the well-being oh it's the littles i think we're because it's dry season those littles don't have water right now but yeah i'm happy with 58 as well maybe it even went to 59 i just have to give it a bit more time but uh okay here's our final result of the of the village and the and the whole map so i do love this area how it's come together and now the beavers are living like kings in this zone if anyone's curious power has not really been a problem and as you can see the batteries are definitely still pretty full and um, yeah i think that's uh, that's the end of our series then so once again thank you so much for watching all the videos super grateful to have all of you guys and girls follow our story here i wish you all the best we'll see you next year so thank you for watching hope you enjoyed and bye bye